Hello everyone, welcome to JGK Masterclass. Guys, in today's video, we are going to learn about ion cyclotron resonance instrument called as ICRMS under mass spectroscopy. And uh, here, the question which we are going to discuss is taken from the MSc previous year question paper. So we'll see the question. Reduce the expression for the separation of ions in an ICRMS instrument. So they are asking you the expression for the separation of ions using ICRMS instrument. So first, we will see the principle of ion cyclotron resonance. Based on this, it says the trajectories of ions are curved in the magnetic field and if the velocity of the ion is low and the field is intense, the radius of the trajectory becomes small. And the ions thus trapped on a circular trajectory in the magnetic field. So the ion cyclotron work on this principle. As we know that resonance occur, we have learned about NMR that resonance occurs in the presence of external magnetic field. Here also in ICR, we have the magnetic field here. And based on that, by keeping the velocity low and high intense magnetic field, the radius of the trajectory becomes small and so it adopts the circular trajectory motion. So you can see this is the ICRMS instrument diagram where you can notice here in the presence of intense field B is a magnetic field, the trajectory became circular here. Okay, so we will see now the derivation as they are asking the expression here. So based on that, let's say assume that an ion is injected in the magnetic field B with the velocity V. So the equations which will be applied here are centripetal force F is equal to QVB. Here Q is a charge, V is a velocity and B is a magnetic field. And centrifugal force F is equal to MB square divided by R. Here M is the mass and R is the radius. So these two equations which are very well known and familiar. So the ions stabilizes on a trajectory resulting from the balancing of these two forces. We will see the two forces you have to equalize. At that point the ion will be stabilized. So we can write QVB is equal to MV square R and if you uh, cancel the V, we can also write it QB is equal to MB divided by R. So, ion completes a circular trajectory of 2 pi R with the frequency nu is equal to V divided by 2 pi R. This is the uh, circular trajectory. The frequency is given here and therefore, we can write the angular velocity omega is equal to 2 pi nu. And 2 pi nu is equal to, so here this is uh, angular velocity which is equal to 2 pi v and we can write that is equal to v by r because the frequency value which is given here is v by 2 pi r. So if you place the here angular this uh, frequency value v divided by 2 pi r you will get the v by r here. So there is a difference this is 2 pi nu which is a frequency and here v for the velocity and v by r you can also rearrange this equation in terms of v by r so we can also write it like q by m b q means charge divided by mass here b so this is the angular velocity formula which is very important and the derivation which they are asking for the separation of ions is based on this equation only so we will see as a result of this equation, the frequency and the angular velocity both are dependent on the ratio of Q by M B. So this term is very important. If only ions with the same size, same M by Z ratio are present, ion motion can be related to a regular sine wave. The frequency of the omega will be inversely proportional to the M by Z ratio. You can see here m by z ratio if you write it uh, m by q so q by m means the angular velocity is inversely proportional if only ions with same m by z ratio are present you can see omega c will be is equal to q by m b if ions with different m by z ratios are present 
circular motions with different frequencies are detected. And therefore, the detected signals will be a combination of sine functions with different omega i frequencies. Okay, different frequencies will be there for different m by z ratio and amplitude. And that is related to the ion intensities. And therefore, you can separate all the signals based on different angular velocity, which is detected here based on the different m by z ratio in ion cyclotron instrument. So I hope uh, you understood the expression based on which expression the angular velocity depends on the m by z okay so with different uh, angle, for different m by z ratio you will get different angular velocity and you will you can detect it under this icr instrument so see you in the next video till then happy learning